So folks, we really have two large topics remaining in this course. The first one is to solve systems of differential equations, and specifically we'll look at solving systems of linear homogeneous equations through uh, some matrix techniques that we're going to look at here in just a moment. And the second te technique is solving differential equations through the Laplace transform. And both of these topics have uh, a, a decent amount of theory that we want to develop in class over time as, as we um, begin to understand what we mean. But I also want to get immediately into the computation. So in these videos, I'm just going to do what I'm calling a naive introduction to these topics. I'm not going to present any theory here. We're just going to jump straight into it. So it turns out that if I go ahead and consider this system of equations, this is a system of differential equations. Notice that the two unknown functions are x1 of t and x2 of t. These are the two functions that I want to solve for. And both of these functions need to satisfy the first differential equation, and they need to satisfy the second differential equation. So we've got two different differential equations here. So we've got two differential equations, each one of them with two unknown functions. And we want to solve these uh, two differential equations simultaneously. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull over a bunch of our linear algebra techniques. So what I need to do is I need to learn how to represent this system of equations as a matrix differential equation. And sometimes you'll just hear it said just represent it as a differential equation. But we mean to take this system of equations and represent it uh, in terms of matrices. So let's go ahead and let x bar be our matrix of unknowns. So x1 and x2. Now sometimes we will be more precise. Like I might write x bar of t. And if that were the case, I could write it as x1 of t, x2 of t. Another way I could write it is as x1 x2 of t. So if I'm wanting to show the independent variable t in there, that might be how I represent it. But usually, we'll just think of the of t as being there implicitly. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and differentiate this. And we, we're not really going to develop this, folks, um, in this class. Uh, you'll see this in Calc 3 if you haven't had it, or if you have, you've already seen it, that when you go to differentiate uh, a vector um, valued function, we can simply differentiate it term by term, uh, or component by component. And so the derivative of uh, our unknown uh, column vector there is simply x1 prime, x2 prime. Or if we wanted to be a little bit more precise, we'd say x prime of t, and that would be x1 prime of t, x2 prime of t. And that's kind of all I want to say about it. That may seem a little bit um, foreign at first, but as, as you begin to work with it, you'd realize, oh, there's no, not really another way to represent the derivative of this vector value function other than the way I did. And you could actually give a limit definition to it um, and, and develop um, a vector value calculus, which we're not going to do in this class. OK, so once I've got all of that, then I'm basically home free. Because what that means is that I can go ahead and represent this system of equations then as x1 prime, x2 prime. And that would be equal to the coefficient matrix, in this case, 4 minus 1, 2, 1, times x1, x2. And what you should do is you should verify through matrix multiplication that if I were to do the multiplication here, I would be able to recover both rows of this differential equation our system of differential equations. So now I can go ahead and using this notation that we've got here, let's see if I go ahead and add, let's let a equal uh, 4, negative 1, 2, 1. I can go ahead and represent this as just the matrix x bar prime is equal to ax. And now I have represented this differential equation this way. So folks, that's all I want to do in this first video. Next, what I'd like you to do, and I'll include a solution to this, but I'd like you to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix right here. Notice this matrix isn't just a random matrix. It is our coefficient matrix. So go ahead and uh, we'll stop this video. And then I'd like you to fill in the details where you take the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this coefficient matrix. And then uh, in the next video where we pick up, we'll just put all the information uh, together to give a solution to this differential equation.